Hi, I'm Michael Halwanan, photographer and a cinematographer at Aerochure. I'm here to talk about aerial photography and videography. Firstly, plan and shoot by researching your location. This includes the weather, the wind speeds and any activity in the area. Make sure you prepare with the right gear. It is important to have a camera and a lens suitable for the aerial shots you wish to take. My go-to gear is the Canon R5 with the RF lenses. Take two cameras if possible. For this, I use the Canon R5 and the Canon 1DX. I like to use the zoom lenses to detail the ground composition. If you are shooting from an open door aircraft, don't change your lenses during flight. Because of the instability in flight and high winds, you are at a risk of dropping and losing any of your gear. Remember to leave your lens hoods at home and take plenty of batteries and memory cards. Next, check your photography and videography settings. Your settings should be interchangeable according to your shot list. My favorite photography settings are low aperture and shutter speeds from 1000 to 2000. It's a good idea to chat to the pilot about the aircraft speeds so you can adjust your shutter speed accordingly. Video settings. Shooting in 4K and in higher frame rates will give you options to slow down your footage in post-production. Your aperture can vary from f2.8 to f4. I mostly shoot handheld and sometimes I use a gimbal for particular shots. The Canon R5 and the RF lenses have incredible image stabilization, so the gimbal is not always necessary. This inbuilt stabilization helps a lot with my handheld videography. Drones are the other options for your aerial photography and videography. They provide you the freedom, the opportunity and the time frame to frame your shot and be creative. Now on to the important stuff about the drones, safety and regulations. Make sure you review Civil Aviation CASA website. Read the rules and regulations. Make sure you understand them and use common sense. You should also check the local council rules and regulations for your chosen shoot location. Finally, there are so many techniques you could use to compose your shot. Regardless, you shoot from a plane, helicopter or a drone. A few things to consider are dividing lines and patterns. Look for lines, patterns, colors and textures. Top-down framing gives you the flexibility to look for these. Long exposures and ND filters. Using a drone, keep your camera steady and use the high-value filters. Play around with your settings until you get the desired result. Multiple exposure and bracketing. I love using this. Relying on a single exposure setting may lose detail. Using a multiple exposure bracketing allows you to set and capture several shots simultaneously at a different exposure settings. Contrasting colors. With top-down shots, you can isolate colors and look for contrast. Give every color you see an opportunity to be a part of your final art. Play around with this. You'll get some cool and interesting shots. Shadows. Watch the sun positioning at your shoot location. Try shooting in different time intervals to capture shadows and changes. Shadow can provide a creative length to your shot. Shooting the horizon. This allows you to shoot the foreground for a closer shot and a background for a wider shot. Finally, people. Having people in photos and videos helps with the scale and connecting your audience with your art. If you don't have anyone, you could be the model. Regardless of whether you are on a plane, using a drone, or shooting from lookouts and ranges. These are techniques you can apply to get some incredible aerial shots. I hope you found this information I shared useful. I really enjoyed chatting with you and really hope to connect with you in future. Thank you.